Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. We're going to be diving into something new today. It's Total War Warhammer 2, hereafter referred to as Total Warhammer 2, because that is too much of a mouthful. I'm going to be starting a new campaign, and I was looking through these earlier, and people were telling me I needed to try Skaven because they're incredibly awesome, but I'm looking at the options, and I think that I like this one the best. Krokgar of the lizard men so just to run these down real quick minus 10 percent upkeep on all units which i love the idea of i wasn't sure about the skaven because they they operate quite a bit differently and i just wasn't sure about getting into all of that but i like the way this one looks so we're gonna start a campaign with him and see where it takes us Since the days of creation, the reptiles have dominated the jungle continent of Lustria. The ignorant call the creatures lizard men. The wise know them as defenders of the world. <laughs> In ages past, the Old Ones had a plan. But then the Stellar Gates collapsed, the Old Ones fled, and demons flooded the mortal plane. Led by the Slan, the Lizard Men fought the demons that surged across Lustria. Yet, it was the Elves that created the Great Vortex. Swirling maelstrom that siphoned the world of chaos, withering demon kind. That's a great way to solve your problems. Just make a gigantic tornado that sucks them all up. Saved. But the vortex <laughs> endures only because it is bolstered by the power of the slan via the great warding. If the warding should fail, the demons will return. The forked tongue of Sotex hangs low in the sky. The slam have felt it. Now I see it brighter, clearer. It's his disturbs the winds of magic. Look, Tagrax, the sacred plaques. One prophecy shines above all others. Vortex of the warm blood. That the full meaning cannot be deciphered. If our master will not wake, we journey to the city of the sun. That's a really cool speech pattern. They were doing some thinking on this sound design. Like the looks of it. Lord Mazdamundi has sent the fearsome Krokgar across the world pond to the Southlands. In this far flung continent, the last defender of the Zadal will establish a new power base to enact the next stage of the Great Plan and hunt out the sacred plaques that shall power the ritual of prognostication. Sounds incredibly complicated, but we shall get on with it. There is quite the size differential in these armies. 
Revered Master Mazdamundi has sent me across the world pawn. Wisdom of the Old Ones must be sought. Oh, hello there. Hunt among the Southlands. Blacks of the Old Ones lost must be found. They shall guide our path. The warm blood squabble trespass on our hunting grounds. If they don't yield, then our claws shall be our their fate. The great plan of the old ones must proceed. Death on those who oppose it. So this is gonna be our lord, I think. Yes, it is. Alright, Lizardman settlements are linked by an unseen network of power. Spawning pools of Lustro will be will occasionally bring forth an especially gifted set of warriors which may be recruited once a special mission is complete. Alright, so we're gonna get into some interesting things then. Ratspawn Horde, wrenched from ancient temples. Lord Mazdamundi bids us to strike, recover the sacred artifacts, and discover the enemy trespassers' schemes. I think we can probably handle that. Let's see, we get a 1,000 coin reward, so that's always a good thing. Improving your methods of warfare, my lord. For this task, they will need even grander edifices. Okay. What are you doing? You are all by your lonesome over here. A priest. Probably can bring him into battle at some point, but we're just going to park him over here for now. Um, also, knowledge of the stars. Ensure that one of the following buildings has been constructed. Well, what do we want to build up to? Probably want to start expanding... I was about to say expanding economy, but we have a whole lot of extra coins. So probably need some better technologies first. Cannot build, must upgrade the main settlement. Chain building first. Okay, then. We are going to go not for level 2 because we will need some more population surplus for that. Let us build the level 2 underground legion. And maybe a spawn pool. It might be a good choice. Uh, do, 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 do. No. Let's do grazing pastures. That'll unlock a little bit more income, so let's do that. Plus 1% chaos, minus 3% on our... What is that called? Public order. That's okay, we're zeroed out on it, so no big dealio. Let's take you and let's go hit these guys up, get into our first fight to warm up. Uh, what now? Why are you running? Why you gotta run so far away, man? The enemy bring reinforcements to the fight. Will an attack be wise? Um, it definitely looks like it's going to be wise because the balance of power is extremely tipped in my favor. Um, he does have a high unit count, but I suppose the Skaven are using cheaper, weaker units, so that doesn't make that much of a difference. Uh, these are melee, we've got ranged attack, and then we have, let's see, missile infantry. Fire while moving. That could be a little bit hairy, but I think we'll be okay still. Uh, nothing armor piercing on any of these guys, which is a little weird. Over here, I do have some javelin throwers. That should be very useful for mowing down the archers. And then also some monstrous units. So I need to be careful not to lose any squads because I want to keep everything intact. But we definitely should be able to take this. Let's fight it out. Get our early war in. Okie loading up. Unit selection, yes, I am aware of this. Hold shift or control when left clicking a unit or a unit card to add it to the current selection. Blah, blah, blah. Should be good. All right, Krokgar, let's own this battlefield. Your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. They await your orders. So the javelin throwers are on this side. Where's my other? Here. Got my monster on that side. Hero in the rear. This actually looks like a reasonably decent setup. I think I'm going to move these guys back here. Can I do that? Yes. 
to get our ranged units behind. I'm a little nervous about how the trees will work out, but maybe we'll be okay. The other thing I need to do is set up hotkeys. So we're going to select our two missile units. Please and thank you. Go control one on there. Then we're going to do our melee units. You actually let's do you on that and control four on our beasts all right looking excellent let's get on with this thing start the battle and we're gonna move out in formation some of these guys are probably gonna end up being a little bit quicker so we may end up with a slight misshaping of our grouping but we should be okay Press backspace to halt selected units, understood, and the spacebar to see unit destinations while moving. No big dealio. So over on this side, hold on, why you no pan? There's our enemy units over there. So we need to make it up through the gap on this side. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. Let's get on up. Troop movement so slow. We'll speed up a little here. Make sure everyone is together. I would like to see a grouping over here. It looks like they're pulling up into the trees to try to disrupt some of my stuff. I can clearly see their movements. I don't know why it looks like they're trying to conceal them. Okay, so there's my first volley from the enemy. Uh, let's just go ahead in. I think that would be our best bet. We're going to hit the archers hard. And we are going to start hitting these as well. I'm actually going to take all of you and we are going to focus fire there. That is excellent. Melee units flank. We're going to hit from the side. And should be able to wipe these guys out. Um, can we charge? Probably, but I'm not sure exactly where at. Hit him up, hit him up! Yes! Rip through him! These guys are just fleeing in mass. Uh, probably want to retreat with you. We're gonna refocus our archers on there and retreat back to the main battlefield with you. We're just going to leave those alone. They are running to the far side. I think we should probably go here and turn and fight. Hero is taking a little bit of damage, but nothing to be concerned about, I think. Bad things happening over here, though, because the melee units are approaching my own. So I want to take you. I want to go number two and key up here. My hope is that I can stay just ahead of the melee units. Come on, down here. Down here, why you no follow orders? Apparently not able to, because they're running in fear. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Run back through, and get clear. All these are still looking pretty dang good. I think I definitely lost more than I should have on that. That was nearly a rout. We are going to pull you guys over here in and hit from the flank, I think. The archers have now redeployed, so we are going to hit them. Leave our melee units in the back to deal with all of this. Rut row! So does that mean that they are angered? It's might. Hopefully we get a strength bonus from that. <laughs> Let's go hit up these archers over here. Tear them to shreds. So it's only that group over there that is actually doing it. We need to bring them back so that they don't pursue. Probably want to hit them up. Take you and hit in the side. Oh no, those are, those are my missile troops. We need to get you over there and hit here. 
Well, the rampage does not seem to be ending so badly. I might be able to just handle it. Alright, how are you doing health-wise? You are below half health and engaged with me. I think everything over there is okay. This beast here is a monster and a half. Not even taking much damage. Completely routing those missile troops. So with them out of the picture, we should be able to deal with these quite handily. Um, that is actually their re leader that we are tearing down. Yes! <laughs> Swing the big hammers, boys! That is how we do! Uh, where did my beastie mode go? He is way too far over there. We're gonna pull back some. Actually, you. Let's go over here and hit these. We've now routed these troops on this side. All down. We are going to target down their hero and send our hero over here to intercept the incoming. Um, probably going to go ahead and start hitting them up with the missile troops. Looks okay. This is going to be a total victory. Complete and total victory. Maybe with a few more losses than we should have had. The enemy commander runs from the but I think Lord. we're going to be okay. His army will surely nice. Well done. I think we're going to end the battle on that one. Not fight this out anymore and take our victory. Okay, decisive victory. Lost 110. So about 20% of our troops, and they lost a good solid 60%. Probably not the best maneuvering ever, but hey, it worked. We got an amulet on there. We'll need to upgrade that later on. Do we want to go in again? Um, sacrifice to Sotek. Holy cow. Uh, let's see, 100 experience and plus 4 leadership. But it takes 5 turns. Oh, it improves the fervor and battle for 5 turns, okay. So we can kill and eat, units replenished by 15%, or we can release the captives. Um, which does give us treasure, but hurts us in other ways. I think we're going to kill and eat. And that's going to get us most of the way back up to full strength. Excellent. Discovered the Skaven faction, Clan Mordekin, hiding within the ruins of the Serpent Coast. That's going to put us in pretty dang good shape. I like it. Alright, so let's go over here to character details. We need to load up, um, ah, it did automatically go in, so he has his talisman in hand. Skills though, we might be able to pick something from. We've got Route Marcher, that is going to be super handy, campaign movement range plus 10% is huge. Uh, charge bonus plus 5%, weapon strength plus 5%, or leadership effect plus 5. I think we're going to go for Route March for the moment. That is going to set us up pretty well. And we're good. Alright. So no more movement left on you. We are next to the Serpent Coast where we will probably be running into some more enemy combatants. Actually, who is your leader? The Kingdom of Beasts, so it might be one of our own. Let's go look at the diplomacy and see where we're at. Relations with foreign powers may be managed through diplomacy, my lord. Consider your situation carefully before accepting any agreement. Alright. So we've got dwarves to the north. Gara's Deathmaker. Very unfriendly of the Beastman herds. That's not incredibly great. Thrund is at neutral. 
Good solid neutral, we like that. So I think I probably should pick a fight with the southern side and try to expand my territories that way. Seems like the best bet, but for the moment... Those that serve your cause gain experience over time, my lord. Be sure to guide their I literally just advantage. did, buddy. I literally just did. Um, let's go ahead and decrease... We're going to do text only. And low instance. And that'll be good. We still have an unassigned skill point. Okay, no we don't. You are getting your information from aged sources, good sir. Maybe your memory is not what it used to be. Also, the old man with the raven on his shoulder is a little bit worn, I would think. I understand, I understand. Get out, please. Why you gotta be like this to me, man? Okay. That is gonna set that up. We are good, we are good. And we should be able to end the turn. zippity doo -dah straight through it. That is a hell of a lot of clans there. Oh, someone is moving into our territory. What are you up to? Also got some random beasts out here. Hmm. Hidden encampments for the Deathmakers. Alright, the younger ones care little for the designs of the old ones. Deploy your ferocious warriors and wield your most potent sorcery. You shall impose the order that you seek. Nice little tooltip for you there. That is a very large boar. Can we... Nope, we can't do anything with it. So I can attack the city, but there are more troops over here which may potentially come to their aid. Um, what faction does this belong to? need an easy way to tell it. Ah. Okay. Neutral settlement. Mm, let's see what we've got over here. We need another turn for you to improve. Can't get anything up for our priest. We're just going to leave him over here. Actually, can you go inside the city? Apparently not since I moved. Let's hit up the coastal city and see what happens. Sack value of 612. Chances of victory overwhelming. I can deal with those odds. Let's try again with our battle and see if we can get on a little bit better this time. Army commanders may arrange their units for the coming fight during the deployment phase of the battle. Once deployment is completed, the battle begins. Blah, blah, blah. The defender has no chance to deploy during an ambush battle. Ah, that is an interesting differentiation. Ah, I can scroll for tactical map. Well, that's useful. So they're basically going to be starting directly in front of me. And I am going to want to get my troops in the back again. We're going to do archers same way. I keep the same control schemes, I'm much more likely to get used to this. So control two is combat, we're gonna go monsters on number three, number four, and number five. Looks good to me. I'm gonna move you over there, and you over on that side. To our dooms then! Let's get a move on! Okay, so do you have, does not look like you have any spearmen, only sling throwers and melee units. So we can pitch the monsters in straight ahead. I'm actually gonna sprint back with you and try to get in and flank. Um, I should probably take number five around the outside edge because nope, I need to cross the battlefield. So we're gonna come over here with him. He is going to come in on the sling throwers right over here. Ah, they're going to give me a little moment to get set up. They're not even pushing. 
probably going to stay closer to the city. Not that that does them any good, because they think it's outside the battle range, but they are setting up and just biding their time. There's the Warlord. Okay, that's going to set everybody up on this side with melee and range over here. Okay, we're going to go full frontal engagement on the weakest of the slaves, I think. We're going to go for softening up this target. And then all of you are going to push as hard as possible on the other side. And we're going to try to sweep the leg out from under him on the far edge. Maybe, just maybe, we can make this work. Beasties, I need you to hit this. Ah, but they are turning in order to not get screwed over. So we're going to move all of you to the side. Slight change of tactics. You guys are going to come in and engage on the weaker set. We're going to move you in front so as not to get tangled up with the archers. These guys are not going to be moving in quite yet, which is a little weird. We're going to go hit the sling throwers. Go hit them quickly, quickly. Troops under fire, eliminate the source. Well, yes, that would be the idea. We're going to move over to the side here to cover our flank. Come on. Go hit him. And we are engaged. We can route all of the ranged units with them. Our hero should be able to take care of himself. And for right now, we've got everybody routed exactly like we need to have them. We're going to fire all of our artillery on this. The javelin throwers and whatnot. Uh, why are you rushing in? Apparently, they have lost their command structure once again, which is not exactly fantastic. Now that you guys have moved, we're actually going to run over here. Go try to save the beastie. Nope. They've turned to fire, so we have to keep pursuing. Give them time to rest even in the thickest of battles. Um, I don't see anybody with their strength bar down that much. A little bit of an odd request, to be honest. We're going to go help out our hero on this side. What are you... Faster and stronger enemies nearby. Okay, that's a problem. So let's run back here. Can you retreat? We need to save him. He is at about half health right now, so I think he's okay for a fair little bit. But we just need to keep this in mind. Oh my. My ticker here is actually running down quite heavily. Come on. Engage fully. That's what I need from you. The missile troops are really hurting us. Can we go faster, please? We'll tire more quickly. Let's run. Uh, nope. They're just bludgeoning. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They're just going to rush it on in there regardless of the order that I gave them. All right, our hero is still at full health. Things are good there. You guys are still looking okay. We are going to finish trampling all of this. Leave him to his own devices for a moment anyway. This is my current main concern. And they are losing health very quickly, but I cannot actually do anything with them. All of you get into the fight. Actually, let's run over here and protect our beastie. I think we're going to have to just give up on that squad. Nothing is going to come of it. And take you and engage again. You guys rush in. We gotta get this down. I may have underestimated these. Damage sustained. And they are exhausted. Do we have a retreat? No, we do not. At least not when we're that damaged. That is unfortunate indeed. We're going to rush in over... No, actually rush in over here. Because there are quite a few coming up against the leader. Speaking of the leader, do we have any specific abilities? Um, replenishes hit points of combatants. Let's do that. Nice. 
Just get in. Get in. You have got this, no problem whatsoever. Just take the fight to him. Okay. We have lost our squad over on this side, I think. It is at very excruciatingly low HP. Oh, speaking of which, can we cast that far? No, I don't think we can. The other thing that we can do is ward save plus 66 damage resistance, which I don't think we actually need to do, seeing as we are in pretty good shape. Let's keep attacking the commander, though. We might be able to route the troops in that fashion. And we need to turn around and hit these others. Craven warriors, run from the battle, round them up, and send them back in. Oh, is that what they're doing? Uh, I would actually prefer if they run. That would help me out a lot. So all of you, attack here. Let's turn and run. Come back, come back, come back. We just need to kill the enemy commander. That's all we gotta do. We take heavy losses when we run, so that was a bad idea. Let me fix that. Come on. Enemy Lord is wounded. He's down. So we need to rush up here. Now everybody's running. There's our victory. Probably a Pyrrhic victory. I need to work a little more on keeping the troops coordinated better. It's not something that I am used to having to do. The enemy has cost you dearly. Do you even deserve to call it a victory? <laughs> That's an excellent point, but uh, we, we came out okay. Managed to keep all but one squad alive. Or no, we did keep all squads alive. This one is just barely able to be called such. Gained a pile of loot. We're good there. We lost three-fifths. And the enemy lost 100%. So a victory nonetheless. Okay, so we can occupy, we can loot and occupy, which is going to really tick off the ownership. But we also get that 15% unit replenishment. And we can sack. I think we're going to loot and occupy. Because even though that is going to hurt us some on the diplomatic side of things... Yes. Public order is not looking good. Minus 43 in the first turn. I think we'll turn out okay. Alright, we're good. Got a reward of 1,000. Some more ancient plaques. Good dealio. Ratspawns seek territory to uncover more plaques. They must be denied. Ours is the only roar to rule the world. We have to maintain control of one province, either by direct ownership or through vassals. Um... Okay, not a big deal. We can do that. Also have a new banner. Charge bonus plus 7%. I need to look at my charge. Because that is something that I was not doing earlier. And I definitely need to look up. I'm not sure if it applies to regular units or not. Let's go check over here. We still have only one population surplus. And we are going to go down quite drastically in public order. Down to 43 I've still got quite a bit of gold in the coffers. I might undo tax the province to save some. Nah, we'll just leave it on. Okay, so I have to capture the cursed jungle to secure this province. That's what it was talking about. Makes sense. Repair cost 240, repair cost 240, we'll do that. Might improve morale slightly. And we're just going to have to wait on our population surplus to actually do anything there. So we've got to go over here, which means we either need to create another army or bring the army that we had over that away. Let's actually go here and recruit a hero. No characters currently available. Well, dang. Recruit a lord, maybe? Yes. So we've got fleet-footed... Goran Agar. We've got this guy. 
I would like to see their stats. I right clicked. There it is. Um, no mount. Has some good bonuses. I think we're going to go with him for the fleet footed. Might be able to get a marching bonus from him. All right. Recruit it up. And we are also going to drop in a couple of units. So these guys only take one turn to build. Let's do... One of you. All of these are combat units, which is kind of unfortunate. I need to be able to recruit some ranged units. Would help out quite drastically. We're going to set that up, and then once we get this all taken care of, we will upgrade. Oop, nope, I do not want to cancel construction. We will upgrade to get some of those other units available. All right. I think that is all she wrote. Let's pass another turn, shall we? Unless there are some details that I need to take care of. Don't think so. Ah, I do. I have some more points. Nope, still broken. I hate it when that happens. Misleading as all get out. That is going to wrap everything up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like and share it with someone. If you want to support the channel, catch the streams, or join the Discord, check out the links in the description. Thank you all for being at least partially insane, and I will see you in the next one.